door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. <laughs> schon irgendwie, also ich find's ein bisschen lustig. Also ich finde das Spiel bis jetzt klasse. Having trouble finding your proof of competence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing, take your time. I'll be here if you need me. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out and keep little Miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Um. Rust. Hey, I got it working. Oh, God. Bad. Hier ist noch eine Kiste, ne? Die haben wir angeguckt. Ich finde die Schnürsenkel ja immer noch geil hier. Ähm. I can't use that. Ach so, ich hab die schon. Wir nehmen eine Staubwedel mit wegen der Spinne. Okay. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Here. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Okay. It's full of bathroom stuff. Yeah, I... Nah, I'm pretty as it is. You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, <laughs> I sing. Classic TP. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Where's the money, Lebowski? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? It's full of uninteresting stuff. I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. Pairs of towels just hanging out. Used for not washing your face, because water is gross in the morning. Wasser am Morgen bringt Kummer und Sorgen? Okay. Also, habt ihr gehört? What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. I swear, liebe Entwickler, wenn mich da irgendwas anspringt, während ich irgendwo hinlatsche, ne? Ich schreib euch an. Okay. Ach ne Quatsch. Ach der schnarcht. Ich dachte gerade, wer rückt da meine Möbel?
There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold up my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up, and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Miller, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. The Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hell of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Okay. Holy crap, was sind das denn für Gestalten? Keep out. Roter Stock. Just pants, neatly folded and thrown over the closet. Storage space reserved for various miscellanea. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? Uh, maybe? A bag of candy. I knew a girl named Candy once. Whatever happened to her? An empty glass? It's the biggest mistake I've seen all day. That's what that is. I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Unique. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. Origami kiste. A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. A book title. A small car on top of me. The life of a book. I, um... What? <laughs> what sort of literature is this? Okay. Um, kissing? I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Well, this thing really stands out. We'll have to find another way. Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You go, lamp. It's a cardboard box. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, oh and if God. the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. 
Yeah? Well, if you weren't a Snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. We've sorted it out with the Shark Snoop. We started a nice little enterprise with them. See, me and John John here have a way with the tourists. The deal is to take them on a nice little tour around our beautiful city that ends in his gambling house. There are numerous attractive locations scattered throughout the city, but sometimes you just have to go that extra mile if you want to experience it the way the locals do. For instance, there's a lovely little Still deli store just off of Peril Street, halfway down to the harbor. Their Madelines are to die for. Just pick a spot on their beautiful terrace and enjoy a good book or a romantic evening with that special someone. Yeah, see? That's right, John John. Huh. I bet whatever they keep in their wallets, by the end of the day, the shark sends his goons to clean them out when they leave. Am I right? Well, yeah, but that's just his style, see? I bet it is. Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? <coughs> ich habe diese beiden Tickets. No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on Ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly <laughs> positive. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing, or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city, wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust. 
and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The foist one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. <laughs> I'm at guns clothes before it's right. <laughs> Mir sind es im ersten Moment gar nicht aufgefallen, ja, ähm, dass das Hasen sind. Und ich dachte mir die ganze Zeit, was labert der von Karotten? Bis ich dann näher hingeguckt habe, dass das. <lacht> äh, we'll have to find another way. Ach so, weil du jetzt klein bist. Weil du bist klein Teddy Bear. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. This spiel is irgendwie, that mir gefällt das voll. Können wir ihn nicht wieder Batterien einführen oder so? I don't think so. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't. But he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. Uh, yeah. It's plastic wrap for your clothes, for some reason. It's my parents' closet, also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. I'll take this film strip with me, maybe I can develop it later. If you draw with it on your mom's evening dress, she'll get like really, really mad. Like <laughs> volcanic eruption mad. Uh, it looks a lot like a horse brush. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. I love wearing these around the house. They make me look taller. They're really uncomfortable, though. My parents' bed. It's so big and comfy. My bed is like sleeping on a pile of rocks. Well, <laughs> not really. It's really soft and fluffy, but this one's better. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. Okay. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? My parents' bed. It well, not real. Yes, I'm schon gehört. Um ich würde sagen, meine lieben Freunde, ich mache hier erstmal einen kleinen Cut. Und seht es als kleines Mini-Projekt an, da es ein Episodengame ja ist, ähm, 
weiß ich nicht, wann die zweite Episode dann rauskommt. Ich werde mich mal schlau machen. Ähm, auf jeden Fall, ähm, lasst mir doch bitte Jeffrey Creepy Face. Ist auch so ein Name. Ähm, lasst mir doch mal Kommentare da, wenn es euch gefallen hat. Ähm, ein Däumchen nach oben. Ein Abo, wenn ihr mehr sehen wollt. Ähm, unterstützt mich bei, meiner, bei meinem neuen Projekt. Und ich würde sagen, ich hoffe, ihr hattet ein bisschen jetzt Spaß. Ach ja, schreibt mir doch mal in die Kommentare, was ihr von diesem Spiel haltet. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Macht's gut. Ciao.